dear students now we are going to discuss launch vehicles and launching procedures in satellite communication launch vehicles are mainly used to launch the satellite directly into a particular orbit based on the requirement simply the launch vehicles are used to directly inject the satellite into the required orbit okay so it is also called as multi stage rocket okay so there are two important parameters used to place a satellite at a stable orbit one is velocity vector next one is orbital height so these two parameters are very important to place the satellite at a particular orbit in a stable condition it requires greater energy to reach the orbit so for that we are maintaining different stages okay so as i told you launch vehicle is also called as multi stage rocket so here staging so in order to make efficient use of fuel the excess mass of launcher is fallen as it moves upward on launch so once it is done its functionality it is fallen down so here we can increase the efficiency as well as reduce the weight okay so next based on the functions we can classify the launch vehicles into two types one is expendable launch vehicle simply elv the next one is reusable launch vehicle that is rlv okay so here we need to consider certain selection factors for this launch vehicles cost availability reliability safety issues performance spacecraft fit to launch flight proven etc okay the first one is expendable launch vehicle elv so it is a single use launch vehicle which is used to launch a satellite payload into space so what is mean by payload so it is the satellite equipment which is used to provide the service okay so that is called as payload so this vehicle gets destroyed after leaving the satellite in its orbit so once the task is completed then the part of the vehicle are destroyed okay so it contains multiple stages in its launching process so here we can have the diagrammatic representation here we can consider three stage launching procedure okay so in this one the first stage so it is the lift off stage so it takes the satellite up to 50 miles okay so that is the first stage once this part is over the first stage is separated from the launch vehicle then the second stage starts ignited so after completing its task then the second stage is separated from the satellite okay then the third stage ignited to proceed with the particular orbit okay so this is the final stage so where the satellite is placed in the desired orbit you will understand this concept so each stage we can have different fuel consumption so in order to make efficient use of the fuel the excess mass of launcher is fallen as it moves upward on launch correct that is called as staging so once the task is completed its parts will be fallen to earth or destroyed okay so that is called as expendable launch vehicles it is a single use launch vehicle okay so here few examples are given delta it is an american elv system in 1960s titan proton proton is russian government space launcher ariane etc so in india we are using two kinds of elvs one is pslv gslv so here pslv means polar satellite launch vehicle gslv means geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle so next advantages of elvs so here it is simpler in design when compared with reusable launching vehicles so here it has lower production cost high reliability cost effective launches so the major disadvantages so it is a single use launch vehicle 
so limited reusability that is the major drawback next one is reusable launch vehicles simply RLV so this launch vehicles are designed to use it many times so this launch vehicles return to earth after placing the satellite in transfer orbit and then it can be used multiple times for launching the satellites so here we can say the reusable launching vehicles as a shuttle vehicle which is flown back to earth for refurbishment as well as reuse okay so here example nasa's space shuttle so here orbiter and side boosters are reusable in india it is under development that is sro's rlv td that is technology demonstrated okay so we are also involving in reusable launch vehicle concept okay so next advantages of rlv it can be used multiple times with low servicing cost so the major advantage is it can fly at hypersonic speed okay so that is also possible with this reusable launch vehicles okay so here there are some disadvantages as well high designing and development cost here it is more complex system because we are designing with reusable concept okay so it has to fly back to earth correct for reusing purpose so next reliability issues technical complexity next launching procedure so here designing a satellite and launching a satellite into an orbit is extremely complex and costlier operation here the launching system includes launch pad infrastructure engine propellant stage storage pumps guidance and control so it includes many functionalities to launch a satellite into the required orbit so here few examples rocket engine principle thrust specific impulse chemical propulsion ion engines for high exhaust velocity powered flight air rotation injection into the final orbit and then the transfer orbit that is home and transfer orbit so this all are the important functionalities required to launch a satellite successfully into the required orbit okay so the first one is principle of rocket engine so here we are going to analyze this is the generic view not in detail okay so here the rocket engine produces its thrust that is very important so based on the thrust it can move forward to the particular direction or to the orbit so here thrust depends on this exhaust so here we are going to use newton's third law what is newton's third law every action has its equal and opposite reaction correct so here the rocket engine produces its thrust by expelling gas at a high exhaust velocity in the opposite direction so based on this high velocity exhausting we can get the faster movement in the forward direction for that we need to have fuel oxidizer combustion chamber and this nozzle okay thrust is the force which moves the rocket through the air so it is mainly generated by the propulsion system that is based on newton's third law as i told you exhausting method so here propulsion is a method used to accelerate the satellite launching vehicle so it is based on the equation of motion of rocket that is given as m dv by dt is equal to minus ve dm by dt so here ve is the velocity at the exhausted side okay so next chemical propulsion can also be used that is nozzle thermodynamics okay so the last one is transfer orbit transfer orbit is also called as home and transfer orbit so for that first you have to understand the concept of different satellite orbits the first one is leo that is low earth orbit that is also called as low altitude orbit okay so within 100 km or within 200 km we can use a general launching vehicle to directly inject the satellite into this low earth orbit so if you want to launch a satellite into a 
high altitude orbit. So in such cases, we need to use one transfer orbit between low altitude and high altitude orbit. So we can't launch the satellite directly to this high earth orbit. Okay, so for that we need to have some intermediate transfer orbit that is called as home and transfer orbit. Okay, so here satellites may be directly injected into low altitude orbits. When an orbital altitude is greater than 200 km, it is very complicated process to launch it directly. So in between we need to have one transfer orbit that is called as home and transfer orbit. Okay, so mainly used to reduce the fuel consumption as well as the power of satellite.